With me now is former federal prosecutor for the U.S. Attorney's Office in the Southern District of New York, Donya Perry. Donya, we should note, is representing Michael Cohen in the criminal case against Donald Trump in New York. Donya, there is an element of this argument being presented before Judge Cannon today, which is that Donald Trump is arguing he could keep anything he wants on the merits. What do you think of that argument? <laughs> you know, we've, we've seen shades of this kind of argument in in many of his cases, right? He's he's argued that as as a former president, he's immune from prosecution. And we've seen that in several of his cases, if not all of them. Here he's saying that he has essentially designated these documents as personal documents and that that is immune from judicial review. So this is in some ways not a, a foreign argument. And uh, he's making that argument today. And the special counsel has pretty forcefully argued in response that no, there is that the, the former president does not have the right to make this unilateral decision in designating these kinds of sensitive national security documents sua sponte on his own uh, as as having been you know personal in nature. And so that's one of the several arguments that will be in front of Judge Cannon today, as well as this argument that the former president has come up with that these these documents you know should be decided under the presidential records act at all uh the the special counsel says no you have the wrong legal structure in fact that the the proper rubric that we should be looking under is an executive order and of course the espionage act and the former president has ignored the executive mm -hmm. order which was a an obama era order that the former president actually could have acted upon while he was president, but did not. And that is the structure that is in place. And that does not allow him to have acted the way he did that required certain procedures that he did not follow. And so that's the special counsel's argument that will be under debate today in front of the judge. Uh, Caitlin Polans was just saying she's going to be watching very closely for how much deference Judge Eileen Cannon pays to Donald Trump and his legal team. What about how much deference she has shown so far? How would you assess it? You know, it, it's surprising to me. The this this is the kind of thing I ordinarily would have expected to have been decided on the papers. Instead, the judge has allocated, I believe, an entire day for arguments. So that seems a fair amount of argument. There are also, uh, I, I believe, she has reserved time for this selective or malicious prosecution argument that is is really a non-argument. That is something that I believe the 11th Circuit, which is the, the court in which this this district court sits, um, I don't know if you wanna get into that, John, but it's a, it's a whole separate argument that is it, it, it's something that the 11th Circuit has never countenanced. So I, I believe this judge is giving a lot of deference to the former president and his legal team and uh, and I know Caitlin will be sitting by to see yeah. exactly how much uh, weight she gives these arguments. It, it, it's a fair point. It's a lot. It's a lot more than a lot of people think is merited or that a lot of other judges would give in this situation. And you can almost read the frustration from Jack Smith and his legal team in their filings. Don, you know, you've been before a lot of judges. What do you do when you're before a judge that really seems to be giving, let's say euphemistically, a lot of deference to Donald Trump and his arguments? Well, we might see after today, I agree with you, the, the general tone of a government prosecutor is very straight down the middle. We have started to see, I don't wanna say some cracks, but the tone, I agree, has shifted a little in the most recent papers with respect to the selective prosecution arguments. The special counsel's office has come out swinging a little bit, they said, well, we've never had an argument like this because we've never seen a case like this. There has simply never been an, another president who has acted in any way like this remotely. And so it may be that if the judge starts to push the date, and we may see that as, as soon as today, they it, it is possible that they may seek review of that. It, it is even possible, I mean, this is pure wild speculation, that they may seek, uh, you know, to, to have another judge uh, put in place. But I, I think that is is probably a re very remote possibility. We will see how today goes. Donya Perry, thanks so much for being with us. Appreciate it.